PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone who is interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. Today, we want to discuss how sometimes people can mistake their anxiety or some other feeling for their intuition. For example, mistaking your resistance to a new idea or behavior as your intuition telling you that something is a bad idea. This misinterpretation could be explained as two cognitive distortions. The first one is called emotional reasoning and the second, fortune telling. We have discussed these distortions in previous videos, but here's a reminder. Emotional reasoning is defined as concluding things are a certain way because of how we feel about them, and fortune telling is predicting the future, when in fact, we are not certain about it. In other words, saying to yourself, I know something bad will happen. This pattern can lead one to avoid activities at the first feeling of discomfort. So instead, what can you do? 1. Learn to notice when you are having these gut feelings. 2. Then, ask yourself, is this really my intuition or is it just anxiety? Believe it or not, by simply placing your attention on these feelings, you can sometimes determine whether something is tweaking your intuition or whether anxiety or another form of uncomfortable emotion is coming up. And three, if you are able to determine that it's just anxiety, then the anxiety can sometimes just lift enough so that you can realize that there is no practical reason to avoid certain things. If in the current moment you don't feel like committing one way or another, don't. Wait until tomorrow, and then tomorrow ask yourself, what exactly is stopping me? Next, complete a cost-benefit analysis. To do so, simply write down the pros and cons of carrying out the activity. Be honest when making your list, and be careful not to simply try harder with generating either the list of pros or cons based on what you're currently feeling you may wish the outcome to be. Sometimes intuition can help you realize some of the pros and cons with carrying out the activity. Often, a cost-benefit analysis can bring you the answer about what you want to do by helping you make a more informed decision. Now, there are many other techniques and strategies that we discuss in our free newsletter which provides an overall approach to anxiety, panic attacks, and ADHD. To subscribe to our newsletter, please visit our website. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to presenting another video next week. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com